Today, we're going to cover basic and advanced Vita procedures in the Hot Start Challenger 650 for x -Plan. This video will assume you have basic understanding of the Autopilot Flight Guidance Panel and FMS. For additional FMS tutorials, check out my playlist in the description below. We will look at a simple VNAV descent and discuss the relevant avionics symbology. We are cruising at flight level 380 on our way to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Our upcoming waypoint is KID. ATC instructs us to cross KID at and maintain flight level 320. We will enter flight level 320 in the FMS, verify it, and press execute. Press VNAV to engage VNAV and or verify the green lights are already illuminated. Next, twist the altitude preselector to flight level 320 and verify it. We can verify VNAV is armed by the letter V preceding ALT on the PFD and HUD if you are using it. On the MFD, we will see a green circle labeled TOD. TOD is the real-time top of descent based on our altitude and ground speed. Once we reach this point, the aircraft will begin a descent to flight level 320. One minute prior to top of descent, a snowflake symbol, TOD, and path will appear. The snowflake symbol is like your ILS glide slope indicator. In our case, we are already inside the one minute zone. Five seconds prior to path intercept, a double chime will be heard. Eventually, V-Path will appear as the new vertical mode while ALTS is armed to eventually capture flight level 320. The aircraft is now descending to cross KID at flight level 320. If you want to use your VNAV descent speed profile, on the FMS press PERF twice and select Resume. The FLC speed bug will change color to magenta on the PFD and ensure the auto throttle system ATS is armed. Let's look at the vertical direct to feature. In this example, ATC instructs us to cross KID at flight level 320, but because of crossing traffic ahead, we need to begin our descent now. Remember in the previous example, the autopilot waited until we reached the top of descent based on the three degree vertical path angle. Ensure VNAV is armed. Dial in flight level 320 in the altitude preselector. On the FMS, select Direct and press the Line Select key next to the altitude associated with the waypoint on the right hand side. Verify it's correct and press Execute. The autopilot will now begin a descent at a shallower angle to cross KID at flight level 320. The new angle is updated in the FMS as well. A limitation associated with the vertical direct to function is you cannot select direct to an altitude window. For example, the next waypoint, Taller, has an altitude crossing window of flight level 280 to flight level 200. If you select direct to an altitude constraint with an upper and lower limit, you will receive an invalid direct to error. The direct to feature needs a hard altitude like the previous examples, or an altitude with just one limit, at or above, or at or below. In this example, Wiley at or above 1-1000. However, when performing this procedure, it will delete the A or B portion and make the altitude an absolute. Another gotcha when selecting direct to an altitude downstream, in this case Wiley at or above 1-1000, all intermediate altitude restrictions up to the chosen waypoint will be removed from the flight plan. However, this is actually a possible ATC instruction, or it could be a potential keystroke mistake on the pilot's part, so always press buttons slowly and verify any changes before pressing execute. Next, we will go over how to program a crossing restriction at a specified distance from a waypoint. 
We are currently at flight level 380, and up ahead is the Albuquerque VOR. ATC has instructed us to cross 20 miles east of the VOR at flight level 260. Begin by verifying the reference waypoint is in the legs page. Copy the reference waypoint to the scratch pad. Add a forward slash and a negative or positive distance to the waypoint name in the scratch pad. In this case, ABQ forward slash minus two zero, 20 nautical miles prior to the fix. Press the line select key next to the original reference waypoint ABQ. Enter the crossing altitude to the right of the newly created fix. Verify the waypoint on the legs page and MFD map and press execute. We will do this again, but add a crossing waypoint to the west of Albuquerque. Follow the previous steps, except type ABQ forward slash plus 10. VNAV is not limited to just descent in the Challenger 650. We can also use it during climb on departures that have multiple climbing constraints, specifically waypoints that have at or below constraints. We will depart the Las Vegas McCarran Airport from runway 26 right on the NITS 3 RNAV departure. It has multiple constraints after takeoff and the one we will focus on is cells at or below 8000. However, we do have an initial speed restriction of 230 knots at Rudy to keep an eye on. Because we are professional sim pilots, in our takeoff brief prior to engine start, we ensure the speed and altitude restrictions are in the legs page. Upon liftoff from the runway and after the landing gear is raised, press VNAV. Or you can arm VNAV prior to takeoff. Our first waypoint is Rudy at or above 4000 max 230 knots. We will easily meet the altitude restriction, but let's dial in 230 knots to ensure compliance. You can also resume FMS speed by pressing perf twice and selecting resume 230 knots. Upon capture of the first VNAV altitude, cells at 8000 FLC will arm. BOC, bottom of climb, will appear in the lower left of the HUD. This is like the TOD symbology that appears for a VNAV descent. When it begins flashing, we have reached BOC and FLC will activate at present aircraft speed. Select the appropriate climb speed with the FLC speed knob or verify resumption of the FMS climb profile. All right, thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, please drop them below in the comment section. Cheers.